Finn Hammond, and Johnny Fisher. So, the way the several questions work is that basically we found a machine in the woods called the Questionator 5000 that was evidently engineered to generate infinite, very silly questions, and Johnny, Finn, and I have dedicated our lives to answering them all one by one by one. And today we've got a great, huge surprise for you. We've got a special guest expert. Uh, we got Wesley Clementine in the house. Hey, Wes. <laughs> Hi, Wes. Hey, Wes. What's up? Tell us some stuff. How? What are you doing for Thanksgiving? Going to Nana's. All right. Mm-hmm. All right. Cool. Okay. Cool. Are you looking forward? Is there any food you like? You're gonna have some yams. You're gonna have the yams. I'm gonna have like- some cake. Uh, All right. <laughs> Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving cake. cake. Chocolate cake. Yeah. What kind of frosting? With, uh, is it uh, dirt frosting or blood frosting? No. Mud frosting? Maybe chocolate frosting because it's chocolate. Mm. Chocolate. Oh, yeah, yeah. chocolate frosting. <clears throat> you know what the yeah, chocolate really well. Taco frosting. That would go really well. Yeah, chocolate okay. pairs with chocolate, right? And tacos. They pair well with tacos, too. Taco chocolate. Tacos? Do you like taco chocolate? Do you like Chaco Tacos? You've never had a Chaco Taco, have you? Chaco Those Taco. Are, oh, they're they're like Chaco Taco, and I think you will like it, honey. And I, we'll do it on a Tuesday. I know you like Taco Tuesdays, don't you? Mm-hmm, I do. Okay. I love tacos. Yeah, you do. All right. Okay, well, thanks, Wes. Um, if I need your help anymore, I'll call you back in, okay? Sound good? Okay, love you. I've not had a Chaco Taco in a long time, but I... Do you think they're awesome? Oh, wait, no, I have. They've got, like, instead of a taco shell, they've got a wafer, right? Mm-hmm. Like a and they discontinued cone. them. They did? Yeah. Why? Because yeah. they're racist? Mm. I don't think that was Not racist sound. enough? <laughs> I think that might enough. have been it. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah. Like, the other canceled the horse, the other side of the horseshoes, as they say. Okay, well, let's move on to our first question. <laughs> <laughs> What classic Thanksgiving food would make the worst smoothie? All right, we all know this feeling. We we wake up and uh, the next morning we have all these leftovers after Thanksgiving, and we got to make a smoothie out of them. <laughs> right. <laughs> we all know that so, feeling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm like, what am I gonna put in the smoothie first? In the blender first. Um, and I think green beans are kind of bitter, so that would probably be lame. Mm. Um, then you gotta go. Hold on, what, with, what's in the what, what's on the top? Of the French onion. Would you put the f- f- crunchies in the smoothie, or would you mm. like put them sprinkle them on top at the end? You know the what I'm talking about. So it's the, a green bean bake, yeah, with the cream of mushroom. Aren't the, they like? Yeah, but what's the stuff on top? That's the French onion stuff. The weird onion curls or whatever. The uh, well, at this point, isn't wouldn't the they just all be in the same thing? Like they don't come separate as leftovers. They're like all one what's done is done it doesn't the, say the anything gen- about that these are leftovers you're you're inventing this story oh that's right it I, says it's just classic thanksgiving food would make the worst smoothie okay, yeah, okay. like pumpkin pie probably wouldn't be it no that'd pumpkin pie would be great that'd be awesome yeah <laughs> that's like almost that's actually, is a smoothie okay what about you guys what would you what would you uh, get at smoothie king that was the question right yeah. What's well, your favorite what did I get at Smoothie yeah. King on Thanksgiving? Uh, <laughs> I mean, cranberry would probably be fine. Mashed potatoes are already a smoothie, basically. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, yams are sweet. I feel like yams would be pretty gross. Green beans, mm-hmm. you're right, would be pretty gross. Pretty mushy, pretty mushy meals. Oh wait, hold on. What about a stuffing smoothie? That sounds pretty gross. Without the like that flavor and stuff, yeah, without the crunchiness. Mm-hmm. That sounds Herby. pretty gross. And it'd be. I feel I like. It, guess, uh, yeah. What would you, like? You'd have to add so much. I guess you'd have to add gravy or something to it. Yeah, because it's yeah. so dry. Mm-hmm. But all these like that, uh, <laughs> especially with the the ones with like the raisins and stuff. Although maybe that would make it better. Ooh. I'm now mm-hmm. thinking. All of these foods would be okay smoothies. Yeah, um, they they'd be fine, and yeah, like there'd be some sort of like you would, yeah, you'd put gravy in almost any of these things because that's, yeah, that's what happens to your Thanksgiving plate. Let's be real; 
it all mushes together. Well, I was a vegetarian for a long time, and I, so I never got to experience that. I didn't use gravy because it all had meat juice in it. Mm, turkey gravy. Speaking of meat juice, gravy. our guest expert has wandered off and is just falling off the couch. But I would like her to come back to the microphone, please. Hey, Wes, come here. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Okay, come here. What do you think would be the worst Thanksgiving food to make into a smoothie? Is French fries? French fries? Yeah, that counts. Mm -hmm. That's a classic Thanksgiving food. I remember the pilgrims mm -hmm. had that, didn't they? With yeah, they brought you know, yeah. to celebrate their fries. their victory. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, and I think he got one more. Um, what about? Wait, would you put ketchup in the French fry smoothie? Yeah, make okay. it. Um, um, I have mm. no. Idea. Okay, you there. She's okay. raising her hand. So. <clears throat> What about avocado? Avocado? Mm -hmm. Avocado smoothie? That would be pretty gross. Mm -hmm. yeah, and mashed like potatoes! That. I feel like mashed, we were talking about mashed potatoes. We thought that was already almost a smoothie. And it's pretty delicious, so maybe that would be fine. Yeah, put some butter in there. Okay, thanks, Bliss. Go and fall off the couch some more. <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> let's. We, I think we answered that. Thanks, Wes, with a little help from our expert. Uh, let's move on to the next question. What Saturday morning cartoon character would you most like to work on an important work project with? I mean, my first instance is Wolverine, but I know that'd be a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, he'd be calling you so, bub all the time, and he's so grumpy. Yeah, he'd be all mad, all, yeah. It's like, oh, this isn't right, or something. Plus, if, you're, if, it, it, if it involved, like, a presentation or something, his claws would keep shooting out. Yeah, and destroying He's things. And yeah, like poking through all your transparencies. Um, so I'm going to go. People with, you still use overhead oh. projectors, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. That still happens. Um, Lionel from Thundercats. I think he'd be good. He seems pretty organized. Uh, organized and stable. He's like a good leader. Yeah. You know? That's the role. True. So, and, He's all and right. You're, you're, and you're sheep. So it's perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're a good follower. I always say. <laughs> uh, I sure am. Uh, um, let's see. I we probably don't have the same Saturday morning crew. No, because uh, you because you were on the West Coast and we were Central Time Zone. Mm -hmm. So you're How watching about Dave, the California dude. He'd be excellent. Excellent. <laughs> He'd be excellent. Uh, he, uh, as he would say, that's his phrase. I'd be excellent at that. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. Um, Dave, the California uh, dude. Um, I guess, wait, um, who counts? Is, is You guys watch Recess? No, I didn't watch any of that. Mm, oh, but. my gosh. Okay, uh, 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 Spider-Man, is that your? I mean, yeah, Spider-Man could no. be. He'd be awesome. He's a scientist already, and he shoots webs out of his hands, and you know that's got to be useful. Which I'm on one? the web all the time. It's <laughs> literally coming out of his hands. <laughs> Uh-oh. Um, All right, guest expert stormed off because I asked her to stop being so loud. I see, I see. Too many opinions. Yeah. Um, it's got a lot to say. I think, Um. yeah, so I'd say Spider-Man. He seems like, he's like a teenager. Yeah, but he's very, he's like a scientist. Yeah, That's he true. is smart. He's ripped, too. Yeah. Mm, that body. Mm. <clears throat> kind of like glad Wes man. left the room now. Hey, it's the only, not the only <laughs> thing that's like a, like a spider. You know what I mean? No. He's got other <laughs> spider qualities, too. Like he's grabby. Okay, so mm. I would pick... Uh, Brainy Smurf, probably. He's kind of oh. a jerk, but he's really smart. I'd probably just let him do all the work. Yeah. Mm. He's so little, like, I'm just going to push him around. I'd probably go off with Smurfette. We'd go to, you know, play ski ball or whatever. We don't we don't meet all the Smurfs. There's just, like, a handful that we know the name of, and then there's, like... A literal handful. I mean, it's a whole village. It's like eight it's of them. Village. There's <laughs> not like a PowerPoint Smurf. There's whatever. 101 of them, and we get yeah. to know like probably 
17 of them total is my guess. Okay, well, one of them has to be good with like Photoshop and stuff. Yeah, Brainy Photoshop. Impact. Or Handy. Oh. Mm, yeah. Or Photoshop Both. Surf. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, you're saying Adobe there's Surf. another one we don't know about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like podcast listening Smurf. That's what yeah, 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 it's big headphones on. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, deep actually. Fake, deep fake Smurf. Mm hmm. Hacker Smurf? Mm-hmm. Maybe it's Hacker Smurf. That'd be cool. He's got fingerless gloves. That's right. Fingerless pants. Um, he has a bunch of screens in his mushroom house. Mm-hmm. Lights are never on. He's always drinking, like, Smooth. Mountain Dew or whatever. I don't know what they drink. Soylent. Mm. Uh, Smoylent. Yeah, yeah. Sm- like Soylent Blue, it's called. <laughs> <laughs> what? Because they're Smurfs. <laughs> There's always just 101. Isn't that weird? Yeah. <laughs> no matter how many are born. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Wes. Hey, Wes, you here? Okay, I guess next we're just coming back. I want to hear your opinion on this. Wes, come here. Wes is pretty mad, but she's still got a job to do. If you had a project to work on for school and you had to work on it with one cartoon character, who would you pick? Um, Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear? That's a good one. He's very That's enthusiastic. such a good answer. Yeah, and he yes. always, I feel like he always goes above and beyond. And Wait, beyond? No. Yeah. He always goes to infinity and beyond. Above and beyond is not mm. nuts. Sorry. It's confusing my worlds. Okay, thanks a lot. You can play in here and make noise. It's fine. To infinity. You can, you can play I mean, it here and make noise. It's more fine. than above. It's not too much noise, okay? Yeah, I would say whisper. Just whisper yeah. and stuff. Um, the audio engineer is going to have a really hard one time ticket. with this one. Okay, one ticket. Here we go. Okay, I think we got that answered, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Next question. What are three things you wouldn't mind having dumped on your head when you weren't expecting it? I guess, like, water, I wouldn't mind that much. Yeah. Oh, no. Um, you want to say your choice? Yes. Okay, come here. Come over here by the mic. Water. Water's your choice? Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just got, it got in there right ahead of me there. I was, I was actually yeah. going to say that, too. I know. Oh, yeah. Too bad oh, you heard me say else. Yeah. Okay. Um, lava would be another choice. No. No. Mm. I mean, I wouldn't mind. I mean, yeah, I guess I, I wouldn't I'd mind. Like I'd be gone so quickly. Yeah. <laughs> you'd feel, I feel like you'd be aware of it. Mm. It would it, me- immediately melt to your brain. You don't no, but think I feel so? like it would be so, it would be so hot, hot you wouldn't be able to perceive it. You know, when something's so hot, yeah. it's cold. You'd just you know, be like, like me. what's happening? Like, and like then you me, like me in a two piece. Right. Oh, come on. I was going to catch up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We were, uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, let's see. What else? I, I think, I feel like the situation that would involve me getting slimed, I feel like that would, I wouldn't mind because that would be worth it. Because I feel like, what do you, you know, because I used to watch, I don't know, I, I don't know how you do that on television. Is that what it's called? You can't do that mm-hmm. on television. Is what it's called. <laughs> And that's where the sliming that started. How do you do you that know? on television? How um, do I would like to know how they did that on television? That'd be a good show. Um, that was I'd the original like Canadian name. That's what it was in French. Uh, so, I guess, like, I feel like that would be like a real dream come true, kind of. So I wouldn't I'd be too mad about that. And then maybe, it's like, maybe what clouds. Um, Oh yeah, big cloud on your head. Mm-hmm. No. Okay, Johnny, Finn, what do you guys think? I think a bunch of cotton balls on your head would be fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that'd be fine. I guess I said mm-hmm. something. It says it. I mean, they. The questionator says something. <laughs> How about a box of vapor? Three things. Oh you yeah, mind having yeah. Like clouds. Uh huh. What about um, clowns? No. no, that would be that depends on the clown. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, three does, no, does noise count? No, you can't really dump noise, noise on your head. I guess dumped on his head. 
That's how I write. That's part of my novel that I'm writing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you just ripped that off from and Johnny. Ex- I feel like I feel like Johnny yeah. came up with <laughs> no, it. I, Johnny's been reading my. Uh, oh, my he is, he he's just quoting you. He's yeah. oh, that's yeah, why he was making he was making novel. these huge air quotes like, mm-hmm. but they were so big they were off this his Zoom screen. So I just thought yeah. he was doing like a Nixon impression or something. He's trying to honor how big the text is in my book. <laughs> I do like to reflect reality. Yeah. yeah. You're very realistic. Yeah. <laughs> you dumped a box realistic. of noise. <laughs> okay. Um, so a box of noise. How about how about uh, Johnny? Do you say stuff? Noise. Okay. You say noise. Yeah. But we don't, <laughs> right. uh, it does ask for three things. I feel like the questionnaire mm-hmm. is being pretty demanding. Okay. Any um, other things? Hair? I would hair. Uh, that's exactly what I was thinking. I, my <laughs> I think you were about to say it. <laughs> Yeah, hair. <laughs> Wes says hair is already dumped on your head. That's oh, true. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. <laughs> good point, Wes. That's, we all think that's, that's a, good, a good point. We all we get this one. We get this hair dumped on our head, and when we have a choice. You know, I wouldn't. Born. I wouldn't be upset about cheese curds. I would. I would be okay. Oh, with that. money, cash. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cash, money, yeah. No, not, not coins. Dirty. No. Not coins. <laughs> That's why I said I, just, what, I guess coins are cash. Are coins cash? Yeah, they are. Oh, oh, no. It's considered. Yeah. You leave it? Hey Wes, come here. What are the other things you would like that you wouldn't mind getting dumped on your head? Um Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Clouds. 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 Are, just yeah. just like her father. <laughs> what about uh thoughts and ideas? What about dreams? Mm-hmm. Hopes. It isn't already in your head. That is already in your head. You're right. What if I dump my hopes and dreams on you, though? <laughs> well, you can. <laughs> you can. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Defiance. Wow. Well, that's, that's good. I guess that's all the questions we have for today. Okay. So let's get out there, ask questions, be curious, not furious, and always remember the mark of a good question is a question. Mark? For Donnie Fissel. Ben Hammond and Dad. I'm Wes Clementine. And yes, there's several questions. Yeah. Yeah. Nailed it, Wes. Thank you for listening to Several Questions, a production of Wolf Out Radio. Click on the link in the show notes for more Wolf Out shows.